All right, guys, so I had an awesome idea. I talked about it a little bit because I kind of like spit ball it here and there during one of my streams. I couldn't find the clip, but it's fine because we're going to go in depth on this awesome idea I had for a perfect vanilla plus PvP zone. Now, I know one or two servers are trying to do their own PvP zones. Uh, I know of one for sure that I can't mention just yet, so we're going to leave that out of the out of the discussion for now. But another one that was confirmed was from Revelation WoW, how they're going to turn Ashenvale into a full-blown PvP zone. That's awesome because that is the, you know, Night Elf versus Orc conflict. Just one end, the other end, they meet in the middle. That'd be great. However, there is another one that could be done on any of the servers. It doesn't really matter which. Well, it kind of matters to a degree, but we'll get to that later. So, <laughs> so the idea would take place in the Eastern Kingdoms. What is this idea? Let's get into it. So my idea for an open world PvP zone would be to open up a never before seen zone from the lore, Northeron. Northeron has been mentioned in the lore as far back as Warcraft 2, where the Wildhammer Dwarf Kurdrin said he hailed from this land. Original maps of the Warcraft world even shows where Northeron would be. Some of it show it east of Grim Batol, while others show it east of the Hinterlands. Even east of Quel'Thalas in one map that I saw. I've even seen that it has been an island split off from the land, while others have shown it connected to it as an extension. It is said that the lands were settled by the Wildhammer Dwarves after Grim Batol was taken from them by the orcs of the original Horde. Grim Batol became a fortress for the Dragonmaw orcs, where they enslaved Alexstrasza to breed red dragons to be their mounts in combat, while the Wildhammer Dwarves, who moved more north, had their griffins. In the Second War, and even in the days between that into the Third War, the Wildhammers and the Dragonmaw fought over the skies of Kazmodan. This should be the perfect PvP zone in a vanilla setting. The lore is there for it. The Alliance would join with the Dwarves of the Wildhammer, and the Horde reunite with the Dragonmaw Orcs. Now, my ideas would only really work for a Wrath of the Lich King or Greater client, as I doubt this would work on a 112 client like Turtle WoW. Sorry, Turtles. But for the servers like Epoch WoW, Azeroth at War, even Revelations WoW, and all of those, who look to this idea and want to utilize it, I would use mechanics as seen in Wrath of the Lich King's Winter Grasp for this idea. Now first things first, we need a location. Now in retail, Northeron was never seen. We instead got Twilight Highlands, which has been both rumored to be Northeron changed by the Cataclysm or to be a different zone altogether. Now the ideal thing would be to make it from the ground up. But for simplicity's sake, let's just reuse the map of the Twilight Highlands, but take out all of the Cataclysm stuff. No Twilight Hammer, no random Old God stuff, and we get this. A fully realized Northeron, with snowtop mountains as described. The only things I left out on this map were some larger areas that have been mentioned in the lore, such as Dun Kithas and the Aviary. Both, of course, could be added as wished. We have three Dwarf Towns and two Orc Towns. Now, for balance reasons, I would leave Kurthaven as a set piece, with Thundermar and Dunwald being the two primary Alliance Towns, and Grim Batol and Dragon Maw Port being the main Horde points. From snowy plateaus to dense forests, rolling grassy highlands, three biomes for the fighting to take place in. Within these biomes, various points of interest and activities can take place. From convoys and caravans taking to the roads between each of the faction's two settlements, only to be attacked by the other faction and defended by theirs. To the main four villages themselves having destructible buildings for various cannons and ballistas to destroy. Lumber and ore can be gathered to help rebuild destroyed and damaged buildings, also to increase the armor and strength of an NPC as well as player forces, just like in Alteric Valley. If you hunt in the wildlands and turn in the meat, it could provide feasts for the main villages so that players could partake and get food buffs. And of course, the main attraction, zone-wide flying mounts. Now don't worry, this would only be restricted to this zone. They would also be used as vehicles. Now the scripting is already in the game. 
In Wintergrass, there were supposed to be flying planes for players to dogfight in the air, but it was scrapped. However, we did get flying vehicles like the dragons from Oculus. That could be repurposed. Alliance of course would get griffins, and the horde would get dragons. Each would get three forms of attack. One could be a melee for both fighting in the air, as well as die bombing down and striking with claws or fangs, or beak, at the enemies. These abilities would only have a one second cooldown, and be your primary form of attack. The second attack would be ranged. Dragons of course would use fire breath, while the alliance could throw a spear. Each would cause a ton of damage, but be on a cooldown. And the third ability would be for bombing drops. This would be ammo based, so it could only be used a limited amount of time before you would have to go restock at a village. You could drop bombs at the location chosen below, and damage structures and enemies. I would say limit these vehicles to either 5 or 10 players per side. When one dies, it would respawn back at a village for another player to take. Of course the villages will have anti-air methods with ballistas and cannons, so flying up to these larger villages will be dangerous, unless you are backed up by ground support to help damage or disable the turrets. To make this game viable for honor points, I would want every form of action to reward honor points. It would help to incentivize players to play the actual game rather than just rushing for a big boost at the end. As for resets, I don't like the games that finish within a few minutes or even an hour. I would say this map would be reset once per half a day to a full day, so it has time to settle and feel like an actual war, while still allowing for a reset for players to not walk into their side being totaled. I would also suggest for a system where it keeps track of how many times in a row one side wins. As one side wins, the other side can get a percentage increase for the next match to help them buff up a bit, and this will help with balancing to prevent a full-on domination at times. I have nothing against factions winning a few times in a row, but you do need to allow for the other side to win sometimes. So what did you think about that idea? It it's awesome, right? I mean, I thought of it just out of the blue. J I actually just read Dawn of the Dragon, which is all about Dragon Maul and Waldhammer. Well, I, you know, I've read the book before, but I just reread it, and it just reminded me of that old, good-fashioned Warcraft lore, just orcs, humans, dwarves in this case, just bashing it out, dragons, griffins, you know, because... Screw griffins, but <laughs> screw the alliance. <laughs> we want dragons and orcs. So I, I, I really hope one server takes this to heart and implements it. I don't care who fucking Blizzard could put it in their Classic Plus if they ever decide to do that bullshit instead of just the hardcore mode servers. I don't care who does it. I want to see this in action. It just, it makes me hyped thinking about it. But anyway, what do you guys think? What do you think of my ideas? Uh, do you have any discussion about it? Do you have any concerns about it? If you have ideas as well, put them in the comments below. If you liked this kind of video, I mean, I have plenty more ideas. I think this is going to be the first of a series. Well, not really. It'd be the third of a series because I did two other videos kind of like this before, but with expansion-wide concepts rather than just one thing. Anyway, so uh, like subscribe. I shall see you guys next time.